All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another build. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I figured I should on this one. It's my first time replacing quad plastics, brand new plastics, and uh, I know that's the most expensive part of any build, but let me explain this entire thing for you. I got this quad completely taken apart, all the hardware and everything to fix it for 150 bucks. The, pl the plastics, brand new plastics, I got for a hundred dollars on eBay. These are the old plastics, still complete, not broken, um, still good plastics, and I'm probably gonna resell those. I'm gonna post them for fifty bucks. Hopefully, I get it. And uh, I'm just really excited about this one. It was already completely taken apart. They said that saves me a lot of time. The guy, the guy bought the harness, the carb, the battery. Uh, he has a new headlight for it. He literally has everything you need to build this thing. Tires are good. Uh, I'm just super excited about it all and I also think it's only gonna take me about three hours to do it all I know I could have fixed the fix the old plastics maybe sanded them repainted them. You know what I mean? Just restored them, but uh For how cheap I got this and since I don't have to buy any parts at all for it Um, it just makes it worth it. You know what I mean to just buy new plastics anyways, I'm gonna get started the first thing I'm gonna do is uh pull the handlebars off so I can paint them and uh, then, you know what? Let's just get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything taped off and painted. So once it's all finished, I can just throw it back together tomorrow. But this thing is a complete quad. Uh, it's gonna be super easy. I'm super excited about it. I don't like how they put gasket maker right here. So hopefully none of that got inside the engine because I don't want to have to pull the head off. But if it did, fuck it, I guess. You know what I mean? I got it cheap enough that I'm still going to make a good amount of money off it. Oh, awesome. I don't know why I was thinking I needed the handle, so I thought I was going to have to go grab the handle to put this on or to raise this. But I don't. No worries, just take your all right, so I got the handlebars off. The wheels are all taped and painted. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull this carb off. This carb is actually a brand new carb, but it's a PZ20. I'm gonna put a PZ19 on this because a uh, PZ20 really pushed a lot of uh, a lot of gas into the engine. Even when I tried to tune, I've tried to tune these before, and uh, like I don't have an issue with them, but it's a lot for a kid on a kid's quad. So I don't like putting that much power onto a kid's quad. So this project may be coming to a screeching halt unless one of these other quads have the same size intake on it. But uh, obviously they broke this or cracked it or something because somebody uh, TIG welded around this. It's aluminum and uh, hopefully it's not leaking anywhere, but I'm not really banking on it. But I'm guessing this bottom plate actually warped. That's maybe why they use gasket maker on it to seal this up. I'm a little bummed out. I can't believe I didn't notice that, but I guess the $10 part won't be that big of a deal, but still, God damn it. Okay, so before we test for compression, I'm just gonna show you a quick trick on how to test the starter. Hook that up to the positive battery cable. Hook this up to the negative. Now you have a complete circuit and then just ground it out on the starter. And I don't think the starter's any good. It should always check the oil before you uh, turn over an engine but I have a new battery here now um, just hook this up to the negative side and then just ground it out onto the starter that does not sound good at all I'm gonna pull off the stator and see if the starter chain is still on there. I'm almost thinking, the way it sounds like, it sounds like this is spinning and nothing else is spinning. Which makes me nervous. This should spin also. Oh, that is hard. I almost think that motor's locked up. Okay, so I'm already running into a bunch of issues. I got it to turn over now that I got the 
chain off. The chain just rusted almost completely flat. But listen to this. It's sitting right under 100 pounds of compression or 100 PSI. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Pull the starter off and go from there. I'm a little bummed out, a little more work than I was expecting, but it is what it is. And I know what I'm getting myself into when I start these builds. I'm gonna pull that stator off and see what's going on inside there. So I just pulled that stator cover off. The starter chain looks fine. And it sounds fine here. The guides look good. Everything looks good. It doesn't look like anything's rubbing. And that's kind of making me believe there's internal engine damage, which I'm not going to rebuild this engine. I'm just going to replace it. But I do believe this engine mount is a little different. You know what? I'm going to pull the starter off, see if the starter is actually the issue. Put a different starter on it and go from there. Have the spare starter somewhere. I don't know if it's the same one or if it'll fit. Top mount starter. Sucks. I'm going to throw a little more money than I wanted to at this thing. But I do believe this is the same starter. I'm going to go from there. I'm going to throw this new starter on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the new starter mounted in place. Is anything rubbing against this that I don't know about? That thing appears to be rubbing. New stator on there. Throw this back on. See if I still have that same grinding noise. Alright, let's try this one more time. If I hear that same grinding noise, I know it's internal engine damage. And I will be replacing the engine. I will not be rebuilding it. It's literally just like three bolts to replace it. And uh, 50 bucks. Or three hours and 50 bucks to replace it. Oh, have that hooked up backwards. We golden, baby. So I know that starter's bad. Okay, uh, with about 80 pounds of compression, it will fire up every time. This one has about 100. I didn't turn it over a bunch. Also, it's holding compression. It's held compression for about 10, 15 minutes now. So I know the engine's good. Um, I will be letting that... Uh, that chain sit in distilled vinegar overnight, so it'll repair it. I will show you that right now. That's actually the chain. It's really stiff. It barely moves. There's multiple spots where it doesn't bend very well. Actually, there's one. Or it should just literally just hang over. But you let it sit in distilled vinegar overnight, it'll fix itself. So, I just want to show you guys a few things real quick. I ended up changing the intake to a larger extended intake that goes over the starter just to make it work. This is gonna have to be routed under the seat. This is gonna be the throttle cable. It's gonna be routed under the seat. So that should work out fine. Um, let me think, what else? Oh yeah, the chain, I have it sitting in distilled vinegar. That's actually it. You can see it's already starting to clean up. You can see all the particles inside that little tub. Anyways, this thing is uh, not being friendly, but we're getting there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is the electrical. Uh, the new stator's already installed. Um, the guy actually bought this, so I'm just kind of puzzling it together. It has all the parts from what I've seen, CDI, all that stuff's already on here. Uh, I don't know. It has the keys. Oh, yeah. The ignition is already installed on there. This, the start switch. I always recommend putting all this stuff together off the quad. Make sure all your connectors are seated. 
and not falling out because that can cause you issues, especially if they push into the one next to it. But it appears like everything is here. Everything hopefully functions correctly. Um, I haven't stated this yet, but just like all my videos, if you need help doing the wiring harness, uh, I already have a complete video on how to do that. I have a complete video on how to do just about everything for these things. Um, and it's really just a matter of being patient. Have a little bit of patience. You can figure all this stuff out yourself and save yourself a ton of money or even create your own little side gig like what I have and just rebuilding quads. Um, yeah, so he actually bought the wrong wiring harness. This one is for two headlights, but I can hardwire this one in. As you can see, it's a brand new headlight right here. I painted the rim silver, painted the handlebars black, got new plastics. I should be about $250 into this. I think 150, 250, 280. I'm gonna be about 280, no 270 into it. Uh, I'm not gonna change the oil. The oil is a little dark, but it's not terrible. Um, it's not thick. But uh, I did have to put a new starter, so I'm guessing I'm going to be about $270 into this, which is alright, because it's going to be minimal work. Anyways, I'm going to get this on there, uh, just drape it over the front, and uh, hopefully get all this done tonight. I, hard, I hardwire all my faders. This one, since it is a brand new fader, I'm probably just going to connect it with all the correct colors and uh, go from there okay so I thought buying this quad in a million pieces was gonna save me a bunch of time but I think it's actually taking me a little bit more time I mean I guess I'm not spending much money but the troubleshooting process has been a pain in the ass have the spark plug hanging off this side I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not but pretty much you, you set it on the head, bypass the brakes, and then you can check for spark. This thing has really, really good spark. Um, the wire harness working correctly, stator's working correctly, all electrical components are working correctly. So I'm happy about that. Um, let me see real quick. Yep, killed spark. Plenty of spark. You can actually hear the spark. That's how much spark it has. Turn it off. Yep. Everything's working correctly. Um, it's just been a pain in the ass, honestly. Uh, I'm probably two hours into it. I figured I'd be done with all this by now. Literally just put plastics and the wheels and everything back on. It is what it is. Uh, we're making good progress. And uh, I guess, like I always say, and like I always tell, I, I tr help a lot of people troubleshoot these. Uh, a lot of people reach out to me on IG and Facebook, but I always just tell people, be patient. Um, and, uh, I'm definitely feeling that right now. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this from the battery. I just jumped it off a 20 volt and, uh, yeah, I guess at least I'm not spending more money. I had to put a new starter. That's it. But other than that, we're going good. Uh, I'm going to put the spark plug back in and, uh, just call it a night, bring the tires and handlebars in from outside. And uh, tomorrow morning, it's literally just going to be putting zip tying all this into place uh giving it a quick test fire which actually i might just go ahead and test fire it tonight actually you know what i'm gonna do that right now so start a fluid and i guess you guys are gonna get to witness the first test fire run position Too, honestly. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna call that a night. That engine sounds really nice. This quad's gonna be really nice. Anyways, I guess for now I'm out. Okay, so I have everything zip tied into place. Something that I do recommend is uh, go ahead and test and everything before you put the plastics or go any further. Because if you have any issues, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot it now than it is once you have the plastics on.
for golden. Or I start putting the wheels on. I prep them with just a tape around the edges of the rim. I paint the rim. I tape off the valve stems, which you can see there. I paint these little inserts. These actually hold on the handlebars. Handlebars are painted. And uh, I'm excited to put this thing back together. Put the new plastics on. This thing's gonna be dope. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put the gas tank on, get all the gas lines ran, and uh, the last thing left to do is put the plastics on. Um, like I said, this has been kind of a puzzle, because I got it in so many pieces, but it's worked out so far, so hopefully it keeps working out. <laughs> I've ran into a few hiccups, but nothing too major. Alright, so I got the gas tank mounted and the fuel lines on. The fuel, the petcock is on this side and it actually shoots out this way. So I had to run the fuel line around and under the gas tank. This is actually the fuel line and uh, then through the top of the carb. Next thing I'm gonna do is put the throttle on. Okay, I got the carb installed. I did run it through, run into a clearance issue on where the throttle sits. So I had to notch the plastics. It's not perfect. It still looks pretty nice. I just ended up notching out that little bit. I'm actually gonna notch out a little more. But I already stuck the handlebars on just to make sure that the throttle would reach. Okay, so I just finished this one. It's done. The only thing I didn't show was putting the plastics back on. But uh, I always say troubleshoot everything. Check for spark. Uh, check that all the electrical is working before you put the plastics on. I got a little confident, a little cocky about it and thought like it would be fine. So I ended up having to completely tear it apart. I'm going to show a picture right now of how far I had to tear it down. Um, it ended up being the stator. I don't know what happened to the old stator or what. It was working. I had spark. I got it to fire. But uh, then all of a sudden it wasn't working. Anyways, uh, I got it all put back together. Here it is. The last thing I have left to do is put the chain on. Chain's been sitting all night in distilled vinegar. I'm going to show you what it looks like. thing was it was just completely rusted so I'm gonna grab an air hose real quick and blow it out I'll be right back but now it's actually like bending before it wasn't bending so and I'll hold on a second I'm gonna get air blow it off I'll be right back okay so this thing is done new plastics new carb new fuel tank new fuel lines uh, new fuel filter new seat new headlight new chain on now completely rust free working how it should time to take it for oh yeah i'll know electrical too time to take it for a test drive That's it.
super happy with this thing.